What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you guys subscribe and join the family because I'm trying to post every week, sometimes even twice a week. So that's good news. And if you guys don't know, I had a baby six months ago, um, Friday. So she is six months old. I also have, have almost a two year old. So I asked on Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, it will be down in my description box. I asked on Instagram if you guys had any questions you guys wanted to know, ask me about postpartum with the second baby, how I'm doing, how it was, how labor was, because I didn't really talk about my labor and delivery. So I asked and you guys delivered. So I have my phone right here and I'm gonna be telling you guys what you guys asked me and I'm gonna be giving you guys the honest truth. So just keep on watching. Okay, so the first question was, how do you go to school, work, and take care of babies? So if you guys don't know, I am a full-time student, I'm a full-time employee, and a full-time mom of two. So it's actually really, really stressful. My desk is actually right here, and I am up a lot throughout the night. Like, she still gets up around, like, two to three times a night because, I mean, it happens. However... I'm really fortunate with my work that I'm able to do schoolwork where I work if we're not busy, if I don't have anything going on. So that is very fortunate for me. Also, when it's my days off, I dedicate time to really just like focus on school. Everything is normally due on a Sunday and I take online classes right now. Coming in the fall, so in August, I will be going to actual classes, so it's going to be a lot harder, and I'm going to have to juggle a lot more. It is very, 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 very hard and very stressful. I have probably a mental breakdown every day. I have an anxiety attack every day. I really have bad anxiety, so it doesn't help on that either. And basically, I just have a really, really good support system where I work with my the employees there. They're really good about it. My family's really good about it. Travis is really good about it. Travis's family's really good about it. So it's just, it's really balancing and really organizing the stuff. If you haven't already, I will um, either link or I will put in the cards above just like a focus on one of my school blogs because I do vlog my school with being online. And it just shows I'm very organized when it comes to it. I do really lack motivation some days. Like the past two weeks, I've really lacked motivation. And finals is coming up this Saturday is my finals. And it's just, it's really hard that you just have to really be focused. <laughs> so, yeah. The next question is, how are you feeling? So, I said I would be honest. I'm not feeling too great um, with the quarantine. I haven't been able to work out and I was working out a lot and it helped my mindset and everything. I'm not comfortable with my body yet and I probably won't be for a while. Um, my anxiety is really bad and my depression has been pretty bad lately. I am on medicine for it. It's not postpartum depression. I know that for a fact. Um, I've always had it. I've always had anxiety. I've always had depression. I've always been on medicine and it just the i think it's with the quarantine and it's like social depression another question was what was the hardest part with having two babies the hardest part so far is not giving them both attention but if i'm giving her attention he will want attention and vice versa she's very vocal now and i love it and he is actually really good with her it's just spending time with both of them at the same time and just focusing on both of them it gets really challenging so when Travis is home it's actually a lot better because we'll just switch each time and it helps and getting them both to nap on the same schedule their nap schedules are so off like he will go down for his one nap and she will wake up so getting them on the same schedule will be nice and getting her to sleep throughout the night will be nice because he's been getting up at like 6 45 a.m every single day for some reason and i don't know why so that's probably the hardest part 
The next question is, how is he doing with her? He absolutely loves his sister. Like, he will give her her pacifier. He will try and help feed her. He will bring baby food to me if he thinks she needs to eat. He will just, like, he will kiss her. Like, he is the best big brother, and I love it so much. She loves him every time he's there. She's smiling. She's trying to hold, like, grab him because she's grabbing things like it is wonderful I absolutely love it another question was do you want any more kids so I did have a miscarriage in January and it wasn't planned we are actually planning um to probably start trying with the next two years I want to finish school really and I graduate fall of 2022 so that's in two years I want to finish school and then maybe we will go and try, we'll try for another baby I don't know it's to the point where if it happens it happens but I am on birth control so hopefully it doesn't happen I did get pregnant on my birth control and that's when I miscarried and it was very hard and it made me realize like I am ready to have another baby emotionally mentally I'm not and physically I'm not and um financially <laughs> we are not but no one's ever ready completely and I think it'll if it happens it happens however we are preventing with birth control so I don't think it'll happen anytime soon and our goal is to have another baby in the next two years so yeah another question was how do you manage working out with everything you are doing as well so it's very hard um i've realized at home workouts aren't that bad i've gotten like bands i've gotten weights i've gotten a mat i've gotten all that i have um insanity on video like it's not that bad it's just finding the time my goal is to start running a mile every day or even just walking a mile every day we have to get a double stroller so that'll help once we get the double stroller I'll be able to take them on walks with me and it's just gonna be better I find time for it because it mentally helps me feel better ever since I haven't been working out I have been more depressed um, it makes me feel better. I do it because it will benefit me and it will benefit my kids in the end because I'll be able to keep up with them and not be so tired. So now my labor and delivery because a lot of people asked me about it and I didn't really talk about it because there was really not too much to talk about. Um, I was in and out of the hospital a couple times like the labor and delivery from 35 weeks until I had her and it was because my blood pressure was off and on like bad and good and high um but it was never like constant and I would always see like stars my iron was low I'm anemic and then once I'm pregnant I'm very very anemic so I am actually on iron medicine constantly and once I am pregnant I take it twice a day instead of once a day like I do now um I was starting to have contractions around 36 weeks I think and at 36 weeks I was three centimeters dilated I stayed three centimeters dilated until I had her um so it was that night I was just very nauseous and I was like if we do not have this baby tonight I don't know what I'm gonna do because I was on kind of like bed rest because they had me stop going to work because my doctor was like listen she's coming anytime like I don't want you to be at work and go into labor because this is your second baby it's gonna go faster let me tell you it went so much faster so I was asleep and I th literally thought I peed the bed to the bathroom and it was like 12 in the morning and I went pee and I just was not like it was just weird it was different and I went to stand up and when I went to stand up water gushed out of me so I woke Travis up his aunt came back like came over and watched little man and we got to the hospital around one o'clock and by 4 a.m. I had her 
I wasn't, I got that epidural, but I literally got that epidural within like 20 minutes of me having her and they said it was not going to work. The cord was wrapped around her neck, so they had to, I had to stop pushing in the middle of it all. They had to unwrap the cord and it was just very stressful. The doctor wasn't even there yet when I had her. She was just getting there when they told me to stop pushing because of the cord. I stopped pushing. I met the doctor. I finished pushing. She was here. So yeah, it was just, it was very fast. Um, I'm super lucky for my nurses and everything there. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.